you know, we got to go in there and um, get some um, loose bodies cleaned out. And uh, there's some in there that, you know, it's unfortunately in a bad position for me to, to play. And um, so I got to get it cleaned out. And um, I'd rather get it done now so I can get some time to heal and, and, and get back as soon as possible to help my teammates out. Did they, did they assure you? Yeah, sorry. Did they assure you that you, you'll be able to play before? I mean, it's, it's a timetable, but, you know, we still got to do the rehab. We got to go through the process. We got to get the surgery done, um, and then we'll go from there. Um, for me, it's a, it's a process of taking it day by day. Um, tomorrow is day one, and then going back and working hard, extremely hard to get my body and my mind and my, my wrist back to, to 100% so I can help my teammates out. This thing, this thing has sort of gone on a very interesting loop from mm -hmm. the Charlotte game to All-Star Weekend. Yesterday, mm -hmm. everything was good. Walk us through your mental stage for this whole thing. Uh, my mental is always positive. You know, I'm always thinking that it's like, I'm going to be all right, I'll be okay. You know, even like I said, the first, the next day on Thursday, I woke up, you know, I was like, ah, you know, sore and I'll yeah. be fine. Go through the weekend. Yeah, I'm a little sore, but, you know, I'm going to enjoy this weekend. Um, get my, have my fun, have my friends and family around. I never thought it would be anything where I needed surgery. Um, and then yesterday, you know, we got some opinions and I came uh, to see my doctor today yeah. and um, she showed me some things and she said this is what it is and, you know, I made the final decision. Were you surprised that it got to this point this quickly this morning? No, I mean, I, I'm not surprised by anything. It was a little sore. I didn't know what it was. Yeah. It's not really something you can say, oh, I'm surprised. I had no idea what it would be. Um, I thought, you know, some, some local treatment may have, you know, helped it, but um, it just wasn't getting any better. So, you know, we got some stuff done in Toronto and now, we, you know, I came to New York and see my, got a second opinion and um, yeah, we made the f decision earlier this morning. Kyle, the degree of soreness, did it kind of like it was worse one day than the next or just kind of bothered you the whole time? Well, it, was, it was a consistent, you know, a constant soreness um, for me. It's, you know, it never went up and down, never went um, this or that. It just kind of was like, man, you know, just yeah. what is it? You know, we wanted to find out what it was and why it was being, why was it sore? Why was it hindering me? Was it sore before last Wednesday, or was it a specific play you banged it or something? No, I have no idea. I can't say, oh, this was the play, or this was the this or that. I mean, I've play, I played through so much stuff. I kind of, you know, things that, I mean, you guys know, I don't say when I'm hurt. I go and play. I do my job. And um, if I can't do my job, you know, then I may have to say something. So this is, you know, I've had to get it loosened up before and get it worked on before, but I didn't know what the extent was. Did you break your wrist 11 years ago? Yeah, uh, that's what. what do you remember kind of about that and uh, wrist and just the whole nut to apply? It hurt really bad. But you can apply maybe the rehab to this. I mean, no, I don't think it's going to be as crazy as that one. I think is I broke three bones in that in that wrist. Um, I think this is kind of just taking some things out, some chips out. But I don't think the rehab will be as you know hard. I was out you know four months months with that one, so that's when I don't think will be that. Um, intense but it will be hard work to get myself back to where I need to be to help my teammates win. We have seen you working with Delon and Corey mm -hmm. and the coaches mm -hmm. pretty heavily in these last couple of games. Continue that now? Yeah, I'm not I mean I'm not gonna leave my teammates. Um, I'm gonna still travel, I'm still gonna be on the bench. I'm gonna do as much as I can. You know, I'm gonna consistently be out there I'm harping at my guys and trying to get those guys to continue to be better. Um, I know right now I got they gotta hold down the fort. And um, you know, unfortunately, I'm, I'm I'm leaving my teammates out to dry, and you know, I wish I wasn't. But um, this is the circumstance that we have. So for me, all I can do is help my teammates off the floor. So being out there, talking to them, encouraging them, see, telling them what I see and what asking them what they see, and going from there. Yeah, I was wondering what you bring in those huddles with the coaches and then with the players. What do you think you well, bring to? Them? I think with the coaches, I give them a player's feel. I think I would give them a player's eye of things, and I think with the players, some things I, I see that I can't see when I'm playing, I can see when I'm on the bench. And now I can kind of tell them, hey, listen, this is what this or this is going to happen, or hey, this is what they're doing. Um, but we're doing, the, my guy, the, those guys, my teammates have done a great job of, of holding it down. And, you know, all I can do is support them and, and, and be and have their back no matter what. We do know that Corey's played an awful lot and an awful mm -hmm. lot of big games, but mm -hmm. DeLon, not so much. What, what kind of advice do you help a second year kid who's barely played? Um, play basketball. You're going to make mistakes, but you have enough guys around you. Um, lean on DeMar. Lean on Serge, lean on PJ, lean on Demar. You know, ask me, lean on me. You know, you you can go out there and, and make mistakes, but you gotta make aggressive mistakes. Uh, just be assertive. You know, I think when yesterday he was a little bit tentative, and you know, then second half he was downhill, going hard, and he was more of himself and, and being aggressive. So I think he's just gonna have some ups and downs. But um, if he's having ups and downs, but by doing them hard, I, there'll be better ups and more, there'll be more ups and downs. 
sure your anchors to actually play with the new guys, but just watching how PJ and Sir have fit in, what have you thought about the way they've actually made themselves so far? I think they've done an amazing job. You know, they just kind of came in and they're, they're believing in the process and what we're doing. Um, they're just trying to come and help the team win, and, and that's what we need right now. All we need is guys that's um, building up to something that's bigger than, you know, the regular season, and that's what they've come in and done. How important was their impact defensively? That seemed to be where they made a difference almost immediately, right? Yeah, I mean, he, if guys watch P.J. Tucker, I don't know how much – Guys have watched him. He's been unbelievable. And every time we've played him the last couple of years, he's been he's been really good defender. And you know, one thing about Serge is you know we need him to be Serge. We need him to be Serge from four or five years ago. And I think he's becoming you know that ag aggressive, assertive, defensive guy. Even on offensive end, you know he used to shoot the jump shot, but he's gotten to the paint a little bit more. He's starting to rebound a little bit better than you know. But now, you know, we need him to be big. We need him to um, be a real presence down there. Were there any uh, alternatives offered? Rest three weeks and check again. It was basically you've got to do this. Soon. No, it was alternatives. You know, definitely alternatives. But you know, the the alternative, the, the best choice and the best decision for for myself and my teammates for the future would be to get this taken care of. And you know, I made that decision. I talked to my agent, talked to my family, and, and talked to our GM and you know, our just our president just to make sure we all were on the same page. And they all agree. And um, I know they those guys got my back. I know they they know I'm not selfish. I'm, I'm going to do the best thing. For, for my team and try to help my team win. If this was the playoffs, is this something you could have played through? Honestly, I don't, I don't know. Um, I think my, uh, my it's, it's very sore, and I think my my wrist can't go to a certain extent right now. So um, I, I'd, be, I'd be a tough decision, but I'd probably try to play through it, but yeah, limited. it'd be very limited. How long does this procedure take, Colin? I don't know. Oh. I'm not a doctor, yeah. so I'm not cutting myself. No, I'm just going to go out there. Hours. Hey, it might be. I, hopefully, it's not that long. Hopefully, it's a quick in and out. And um, you know, I believe in my doc. I believe in Dr. Carlson. And she'll do a great job. Is this is this like a, something you think is minor? Is it something? I, I, it's it's How something that sort of I, I, it's something, something that, that needs it's something that needs to, to be done, and yeah. it will be better for me long term.